Video Clips on Blindness Tips, a series of video demonstrations for daily living skills for the blind and visually impaired, presented in conjunction with the Washington State School for the Blind. The following tip features Jim Eccles, Residential Life Counselor for the Washington State School for the Blind. Jim demonstrates specific techniques that will help a blind or visually impaired person shave safely with a manual razor instead of an electric shaver. Having used both kinds of shaving systems while growing up, I found that for me, personally, shaving with a blade seems to last longer. Also, with my sensitive skin, I find even cutting myself with a blade is less painful and irritating than the feeling of being chewed upon by the tiny blades behind the facial screen of an electric razor. Thus, although the battery-operated electric razor is certainly a more mobile, more on-the-go shaving device. I prefer the improved result that I get from blade shaving. A less frequent need to shave, but this preference is obviously a very individual matter. What works best for me may not be the ideal choice for someone else. Let's begin by taking a look at the shaving equipment. First, we have the shaving handle with a removable blade, which is replaced with a sharp new blade once the current blade becomes too dull. Another subjective personal decision. Second, there is the aerosol can containing thick shaving cream, which lubricates the blade, making it slide smoothly over the face. Fewer accidental cuts. Third, we've got a squeeze bottle of aftershave lotion which puts back the moisture lost from the facial skin by the application of the soapy shaving cream. Fourth, you'll notice that we have a washcloth, which is used to briefly soak the face in hot water. That softens the whiskers so they are cut more easily. Fifth, there is a towel to dry off the face when shaving is complete. And sixth, I have brought along a small plastic tray containing replacement blades from a shaving handle. In addition to these essential items, I also brought along a few handy accessories. First, a larger shaving kit for car, bus, or train travel where more space is available. Second, I brought along a smaller shaving kit, ideal for the increasingly smaller space available for baggage during air travel. Let's get started. My first step is to fold the washcloth into a long, narrow strip and heat it in the water. Wring it out and apply it to my face. Fold it in half so that it covers my face from my left ear to my right ear and down to my neckline. Then I turn the washcloth around and apply it again, transferring all the face softening heat from the cloth to my face now that my face is nearly shaving ready, I shake the shaving cream can to mix the cream with the propellant. Ideally, I want them both to run out at exactly the same time. I dab a thin layer of shaving cream from my left cheek just ahead of my ear, down under my chin, and back up to my right cheek just ahead of my right ear. Also, I dab shaving cream along my mustache under my nose with additional dabs below my closed mouth and along my chin. I don't need a ton because it would just fall off in a glob and be wasted, but I do need to try to cover everywhere that I have whiskers, everywhere that I'm going to shave. I start with the right hand corner of my mustache and I shave using upward strokes from right to left until I reach the left corner. Next, I take on the small whisker patch just below my mouth and the one along my chin. After a few shaving strokes, I rinse the blade to prevent its being clogged with whiskers, for then it won't shave more whiskers. Next, starting with my right cheek, just ahead of my ear, I shave that cheek then that area down under my chin to my neckline, and finally, my left cheek area. 
Notice that I shave up instead of down with the shaving handle oriented up and the blade down, except in that area near my throat where the lay of the whiskers runs in the opposite direction. Also, I brush the area I am about to shave with the fingertips of my free hand before and after each shaving stroke, which gives me tactile feedback on my shaving progress. After I wet the washcloth with warm water and wring it out to rinse off the excess shaving cream, remembering to rinse my ears and the tip of my nose so that my wife doesn't discover any shaving cream left behind, then I can spot check for missed whiskers and shave them off. After thoroughly rinsing all shaving cream remaining on the blade. When I then dry off my face with a towel, I have yet one more chance to spot check my face for any remaining unshaved patches when I apply a small daub of aftershave lotion into one hand, rub my two hands together vigorously, and then apply the lotion with both hands to the entire shaved area. I think of it as covering the two halves of my face with lotion from cheek to cheek, then nose to throat. The lotion acts as an astringent to make any remaining whiskers stand up for better tactile identification and easier shaving. If it needs to be done right then, at the end of a shave, is a good time to change the blade. As the blade dulls, it pulls harder on the face. When you've had enough, change it up. Typically, a blade will last me several months or longer because since my wife says that my beard is relatively light in color, I can generally get away with shaving every other day. However, daily shaving does make sure that you will not inadvertently neglect shaving on a given day. Changing the blade is easy, and you don't even have to touch it. They always leave an empty blade slot at the top of a new blade tray, so you have a very safe place to dispose of the old blade. With the empty blade compartment at the top and the handle pointing toward you, set the blade in the tray and slide the handle out along the track that extends to just beyond the tray. Then reverse the procedure to remove a sharp new blade from a full blade tray compartment and attach it to your handle. Line up the handle with the track that extends out beyond the full blade compartment and slide it over the blade until the blade is completely covered by the handle. Then lift up on the handle and the blade pops free of the blade tray. Already attached to your handle, and you didn't have to touch it. Now, looking at the larger of the two shaving kits, notice that it has a narrow side pocket, ideal for establishing a fixed orientation for your razor, so you don't inadvertently reach in and grab it by the blade, which can cause unnecessary minor bleeding. And I hate that when it's my reading finger. Since my micro shaving kit has no such narrow side pocket in it, I put a disposable razor that comes with a plastic cover over the blade. Even though I have to just reach in and grab, I'm not going to bleed. However, young inexperienced shavers should be strongly advised that it is vastly easier to cut yourself when first using a disposable razor because more blade is exposed, making more frequent and deeper cuts possible. Start with a very, very shallow blade angle by keeping the handle close to your head. Then move the handle away slightly with each successive shaving stroke until the blade is just beginning to cut whiskers. Shave slowly and concentrate when first using a disposable razor. sir. I must admit that it took many years before I could use a disposable razor with little or no bleeding and was comfortable doing so. This was especially true since I avoided using them for a long time until I got the hang of it eventually. Good luck and happy painless shaving. 
More video clips for blindness tips are available from the Washington State School for the Blind at wssb.wa.gov.